Let's bring in Basil right. Smichel, Jr., Democratic strategist and director of the public policy program at Hunter College, and Susan Del Percio, Republican strategist and MSNBC political analyst. Thank you both for being here. And I think you both know, know, know Rudy Giuliani. I know you do, my sister. Let me play for you, because you know what? He's somebody who's like Trump, cannot shut up. Lauren Windsor, um, who is an independent journalist who often gets uh, people to say really dumb things just by asking them a very simple question, she caught up with Rudy Giuliani um, after this verdict. And she asked him why he was willing to risk it all for Donald Trump. Here is what he said. You're America's Listen, mayor. You're why man. are you willing to risk it all for uh, Donald Trump? I'm a man of principle. I've always been a man of principle. Uh, this is a fight of principle. I, I understand that I could have done a lot of things to make this go away. The reason I didn't make it go away is for the American people. The election of 2020 has to be exposed because if not, our country will no longer be a democracy. I know that. I know that in detail. I have the evidence in my I'm not just talking about this case. I'm talking about a lot of cases. And I know that my country had a president imposed on it by fraud. What is wrong with this person? <laughs> I, honestly, I, mean, I mean, genuinely. Genuinely, I think he has gone through some kind of mental derangement. And, and, and I'm serious, and I'm not a psychiatrist, so I can't sure. diagnose him. But this is not the Rudy Giuliani who ran New York City for eight years. This is not someone who ran a consulting firm. This is someone who has literally cut himself off from reality. He has been brought in as part, in part of the uh, Trump cult. But the saddest part of it all is from 2016 to today, I think he sees this as the way of staying relevant. Except now, I actually think he believes it all, too, which is worse. But he is someone who likes the limelight, who wants it. He, the, the, the lawsuit, maybe he thinks he'll get away with something. He'll get something from Trump at the end of the day. If Trump wins, he'll, he'll get out of the legal binds. But at the end of the day, I think he's happy to see himself in the media every day, which that, is really sad and really pathetic for what for someone who was once a great mayor. I don't know that he was a great mayor. Know, we can, we can debate about that. We can debate about that. A well-regarded mayor. By, by, by some, yes. Okay. Some people really thought he was a good mayor. But, I mean, the, this is a man who is a former U.S. attorney mm -hmm. who could very well be in prison right. in Georgia right. and broke right. very soon. Do you think that he is pretend? Does he appear to you to be pretending to believe still that this election was stolen? That he, is he performing for Trump to try to become his attorney general from... I, what is he doing? I agree with uh, with Susan in in one regard that I think he is he is searching for the limelight. He is searching for a path to some platform, and he found that through Donald Trump. What does he want? A podcast? I, I don't know what he wants. He but has I will a tell radio you, show, and there's, uh, that money's going to be garnished. You, <laughs> but I will tell you, he says he's a man of principle. To me, and I know you may disagree with this, he's always been this guy. I agree. He is the person that led a riot in front of City Hall when a black man was sitting as mayor, um, where there were off-duty police officers and others lighting fires in trash cans and holding up signs saying, go back to being a washroom attendant. He has always been this person. It's the yeah. it's, it, What he has not had since he was, quote, America's mayor, mm -hmm. is, as I said before, this path to having a platform. Yeah. And he found that in Donald Trump. They are like-minded individuals. Yep. And every time folks would say this was the big lie, I always said it was a big conspiracy because there's no way that one man could have unleashed all of this unless yep. there were individuals willing to help him. Yep. Rudy Giuliani, top of that list. So uh, agreeing with what you had said before, uh, Ms. Uh, Moss and Ms. Freeman are, are heroes yes. Yes. because because the courage that it took to defend democracy in front of that onslaught That's right. led by Donald Trump and seconded by Rudy Giuliani um, is no, nothing short of courageous and heroic. No, absolutely. And by the way, they had the courage to testify publicly mm -hmm. when members of Congress didn't have the cojones to do the same. That's right. And they, they are heroes. And I, they deserve everything they got. But I just want to bring it out a little bit more. This is so important for our overall democracy. Yes. This award, it's not just the money. It shows that if you have this kind of behavior, you will be held accountable. Because yep. what did we all worry about in 2022 and still worry about today in 20, for 2024? Violence at um, polling booths. Mm -hmm. And 
These are the frontline workers. We've all worked. I've, yeah, I'm sure so. you have too. I know you have. We've been into poll watch. We've been poll watchers. We see what these folks do. They're there for 12, 16 hours a day. Yeah. They literally are on the front lines, and they did it in a pandemic. Yes. Those two women. That we, we have to remember that. Let, let me play them for a let, Let's let you listen to uh, Ruby Freeman, and she's saying, "Don't be sad for me." Listen to this. Don't be sad for me. Don't waste your time being angry at those who did this to me and my daughter. We are more than conquerors. Pray for us as we continue to fight the good fight of faith. I tell my attorneys often, my friends say that God knew who to give this assignment to because if it had been them, they wouldn't have been able to go through this. Amen to that. Uh, and by the way, she also said faith carried them through. Faith carried us through this most difficult time of my life. Faith will carry you through the hardships that you face in life. Understand that the devil is a liar. He is defeated and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. They are still women of faith even after all this. Absolutely. But I, I, my final comment here. At some point, do people start to count the cost of the big lie? As of today, Rudy Giuliani, $148 million. Fox, $787.5 million to resolve the defamation suit by Dominion. They still are facing Smartmatic. This now is closing in on the Alex Jones $1.49 billion bill. The big lie has cost so much. At some point, and I'll let each of you answer this question, but I'm going to start with you, my dear. I'll just At some brief. point, do people say it's, it's costing too much? I, no. Honestly, the people that we need to say it, it costs too much, no, because Donald Trump doesn't care because he's going to have his campaign yeah. pay for it. But what it does do, those big numbers, it shows that you will be held accountable. So I hope it costs twice, three times, a hundred times yeah. as much. And people are put in jail for crimes because that is the message that needs to be sent. And, Last word. and it's possible that some of the Republican leadership looking for someone other than Donald Trump are starting to see this cost yeah. in many different ways, financially and politically. And I just want to hone in on something that Ms. Freeman said. She is she is going to miss her name. That yes. hit me yeah. because these are women that l essentially have to go into witness protection That's because right. of what happened. Yeah. And I, my fear is that the chilling effect of that is going to slow down our process yeah. and, and bring down our institutions. But God bless her as a woman of faith, and that's actually something that we should all yes. be, be, be amplifying right now. I, I will note that one of the complete fools uh, who joined Donald Trump's little gang in Georgia seemed to continue to threaten them. So they are not out of, uh, you know, out of duress and out of danger. So God bless these women, uh, and I hope that they uh, get every dime, Rudy, <laughs> pay, pay up. Basil Smichael, Jr., and Susan Del Percio, thank you.